grill blockers. Can they really improve your fuel economy? Well, I was a skeptic. I wasn't sure that they really could until I put them to the test. And over the last month and a half, I've become a convert. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you how this went down. Slambo peaked out around 45.6 miles per gallon last summer per tank. And I had some nice repeated results. Things were looking good. As the weather got cold, the numbers started dropping for a number of reasons. I wasn't really sure what was going on until it got really cold. And then I realized Slambo likely has a stuck thermostat. This thermostat is stuck wide open. The engine would come up to operating temperature, and then once I started driving, woof, it would drop. Not a good thing. So how do grill blockers improve your fuel economy? Well, there are two potential ways, basically. One, it's better aerodynamics, right? Your car is smoother, it's slicker, the air is not getting hung up. You're reducing your drag just a tiny bit, so you can see a little bit of benefit there. The second way is in the winter time, keeping that engine warm. Here's how my experiments went down. The first thing I did was block the upper grill. I got a cheapo $17 plastic grill from eBay, which I covered in 3M VHB tape, and then I cut a piece of agricultural plastic, mounted it flush, popped it in, threw on a little duct tape for boy racer aesthetic or something. Whammo. So it's functional, but I couldn't really tell if it was doing anything for my fuel economy because it was so cold out, the engine was still not staying up the temperature. My next experiment, full lower grill block. Right? There are two grills in the Civic, the upper grill, the lower grill. So the upper grill, I've got that flush piece of plastic. The lower grill, which is really where all the airflow comes in to cool the radiators, that's what I had to attack. Inside the grill, there are two radiators, one for the AC and one for the engine. I figured, boy, it's pretty cold, single digits. I'm going to block the whole thing. I blocked the whole thing with duct tape. It worked like a charm. <laughs> looked like crap, but it worked like a charm. So I had an early morning flight last Sunday out of Newark. I had to drive up there. I don't know, temperatures were like teens, 20s, pretty cold. The grill was completely covered in duct tape, except for a little sliver at the top. It kept the engine temperatures right around 170 degrees, which was just fine for me. Parked it, flew, came back the next morning and landed after midnight. It's still pretty cold. I think it was 20s, 30s. I drove back, no problem. Temperatures in the 170 degree range. Looks good on the gauge, looks good on dash command, because that's how I keep track of all my gauges. Dash command gives me pretty much everything I need. Yeah, almost everything. It looked good. Two days later, I needed to go to Philadelphia, but the temperatures had warmed up. We had a day where it was into the high 50s. So I take off and I'm thinking, hmm, well, we'll see how this is going to go with the full grill block. Thought maybe the temps are going to get too high. Again, I'm running dash command and I watched the temps go all the way up to 191 and thought, I better do something about this. So what I did was pull over in a parking lot, rip off half the duct tape the duct tape on one side. So I left the duct tape on the driver's side blocking the AC radiator and I left it open. I tore it off, left it open where the engine radiator is. Headed down Route 95, engine temps in a real nice range, 170s. Right? I got that one nailed. Got done with my gig there, headed back home and I saw some of the best fuel economy I've seen out of Slambo the whole time I've had it. Now this piece of 95, it's a 55 mile an hour limit. It gets a little crazy down there in Philly, but it's a 55 mile an hour limit. And that's about the optimal speed, I think, for this car with the way the gearing is. I'm pulling over 50 miles per gallon according to dash command, which, you know, of course, going to be off, but I think there's something to this. A little bit of aerodynamics on the top and uh, keeping the engine warm. That made a big difference. Now, in your car, your truck, or your SUV, what's going to work for you? 
I don't know, you gotta experiment. Duct tape is the cheapest way to play around. And, and you know, if you live in a cold place, you see people do all kinds of nutty stuff in the winter to keep their engines warm. They're like taping on pieces of cardboard and whatever it takes. Grill blocking does work. The primary reason it works in the winter is it keeps your engine warm, or it does a better job of keeping your engine warm and up at operating temperature. If you let that engine temperature go down, your engine's not gonna run efficiently. If you wanna try a grill blocking experiment yourself, you absolutely need to watch your engine temperatures. Don't go at this blind. Now, if your car does not have an engine temperature gauge, you probably won't go out and buy a gauge and plug it in. What you can do is get a dongle like this one, a Wi-Fi dongle, and then you can run software on your iPhone. I use Dash Command. Get all your gauges there. Keep an eye on things. Know where your normal operating temperature is. If you see it go way high, you're blocking a little bit too much. If you see it not coming up, maybe you've got to block a little bit more. I'm not a pro in grill blocking. These are my first experiments. I'm convinced that it can work.